<laughs> Excuse me. And here we go, round one of Oh Boy versus Milky. This is the winner's bracket. Uh, 3.2? Uh, whatever. Uh, d let's see what we have here. This is Sea of Fortune. We've got ourselves a Daring. Oh, and I gotta do my commander build. There we go. We got ourselves a Daring. A legendary Haruguma with range, too. Ooh, all the pew pews. Uh, then we've got a legendary Gearing and a legendary Grozovoy. Grozovoy. We've got a legendary Wooster. A legendary Des Moines. Another legendary Des Moines. Uh, are we seeing a pattern here? Note the differences in commander spec, though. One, choosing that they'd prefer gun feeder. Um, and, and the captain that gives the uh, enhanced gun feeder. Another, choosing that they prefer the captain that gives enhanced survivability expert. That's oven chicken for survivability. And, uh, well, any of the does or Halsey for gun feeder. Uh, and then we've got ourselves a Kremlin and a Conqueror. All right, moving right along. Now, remember, these are all press accounts. This is nobody's, uh, nobody has a, an advantage of, you know, everything on their account versus people that don't have it. We have a legendary gearing, a Z52, love it. A legendary Shimakaze, all the torpedo spamming, 20 kilometer torpedo spamming at that. Legendary Haragumo, but with the reload mod instead of range. We've got ourselves a legendary Des Moines going off to go into the smoke screen of the gearing to start. We have another legendary Des Moines heading the other direction, probably to go into the Haragumo's smoke screen. We've got a Kremlin and a Stalingrad and a Conqueror basically being our battleship lineup because, I mean, come on, Stalingrad. All right, so let's uh, drop that and take a look at what's happening in our battle. We're going to park things. We're going to take a look. Z52 opting not to go into B, but instead go towards A. Now, this is an interesting play because normally a Z52 would go towards B cap, but... With all the Des Moines and Woosters, there's three radar cruisers on the opposing team. The Z-52 was probably told, don't even mess with the B-cap, we're not going to help you. But you can see that Milky's play is for the A-cap. Um, meanwhile, you can see the, uh, the the play is the opposite for Oboy. Oh Oboy oh is going for B and C. Typically, that's the better play. Because B and C, you can support each other. A, you're really isolated. These islands here along the five line really isolate you from the rest of the map. So much so, in fact, that Wargaming changed this layout for uh, the last King of the Sea. And they had an A cap up to the north and a B cap down to the south and then C and D. So they added a home cap for each team. And that did do, I think it it's a, did have its desired effect of changing up where people are going. Now look at this. This is interesting. We've got ourselves um, the Daring detected. I believe that's on the Hydro of Rice Enjoyer. Let's see. Yes. So, question is, can anybody shoot him? The only person that can shoot him is the Conqueror. He got some resets earlier, but as you can see, all those shells missed. So, the Daring did what he needed to do. Unfortunately, Milky was not prepared uh, to follow up from that. Meanwhile, we've got our Shimakaze over here. Oh, look at those torpedoes into the safe spot. Um, we got our Shimakaze that's slowly but surely working their way up the two line, and then he's gonna just keep torp spamming the hell out of everything, as you do in a legendary uh, Shimakaze. Z52 going into the A cap. Nobody going for C. That's interesting. Nobody even wants to mess with it. Look at this. Look at the smoke screen, and then of course the daring is going to pop his smoke momentarily, as Kudos to Haru he has to dodge a torpedo. He does, and I believe Celestial him fired these torpedoes just before the uh, gearing smoke showed up, and that means we're not going to see any torpedoes hit over there, most likely. There's a death snail going up as the Wooster is detected. Conqueror got hit a little bit. We've got some torpedoes coming in on the Shimakaze. He hit the W key just at the worst possible time, realized the mistake, and stopped. Kremlin now coming under fire. As uh, the Conqueror over here for Oh Boy taking a couple of hits. 
And he's going to take a torpedo or two for his trouble as well. Oof. Prompts the DCP and the heal, so he flooded. Now that's huge because that might mean somebody can get an HE shell on the conch and get a fire going. Can anybody hit it though? That's the question. Uh, I don't think they've got any. I don't think anybody really has any range to hit it. If the Haragumo was range mod, he probably could, but I don't think he's in range yet. Well, there's the Conqueror shells trying to reach out and start a fire. They do not. Remember that fire and flood tick damage is 100% healable. It's one of the reasons why Conqueror is such a popular competitive ship. Torpedoes, though, are not. Speaking of torpedoes... <laughs> Deunited. Wow. <laughs> All right. Kami can't carry hard. Kremlin is getting farmed pretty low here. He's already down about 50% hit points. There's the DCP. We're going to see his heal. Oh, he's already used his first heal. And Haragumo got detected momentarily. He'll be okay. Now, Brody. Coming out of the smoke. Brody's detected. Brody's going to have to be careful. What's going on on the other side of the map? The daring that grabbed B-Cap said, fine, I'll go take C if nobody else wants it. And what do we have over here? Nothing. <laughs> our usual our usual death nails. It's like if you ever watch... Um, if you ever watch... Uh, a Dragon Ball Z, right? When you got the you got the two guys that just keep whacking each other and there's all these explosions, but nobody's really hurt. Nobody's really doing anything. That's what's happening over on the 10 line, 9 10 line. Meanwhile, all the actions over at A. Torpedoes coming by the Hargumo again. They miss. But Brody is going to have to start doing some dodgy dodgy stuffs. One second to go for the Hargumo. You know he's going to lay smoke. Let's see what's going on over here. Z52 smoking up. 33 seconds left on the Des Moines uh, radar. Getting some free shots into Reunited's Daring. That's the power of that Z-52 Hydro. He's going to have to back off pretty soon, though. Decent hit on the Conqueror. Oh, look, the Shimakaze was pulled back as well. Now, unfortunately, he's about to show up on radar in about 10 seconds. So, bringing him back is going to give, oh boy, an awful lot of information. Still nothing going on on the 910 line. All the actions going on down here. Now, here we go. We're... Des Moines is detected. He's on fire. He has not radared as the Shimakaze. Oh, the Shimakaze puts down smoke for his conqueror buddy. That prompts the radar from the Des Moines. And the conqueror is trying to make a move, but now he's forced to move under radar with the Kremlin's guns staring down at him. And he's showing broadside to the Des Moines, who's happily changing to AP now. This uh, this feels bad. Here comes the turnout. Conqueror can't afford to just sit there and get smacked by the Des Moines. He's going to have to back off. He's got a super heal going. And surprisingly enough, the Kremlin didn't... There they are. I didn't see any shots really coming from the Kremlin. Probably because he's in the middle of repositioning. He only has one turret that could tar that could hit the target. Oh well. Bad timing, I guess, for them. Um, Archnitzer Stalingrad's moved up. He actually might be in a good position to radar the Grozaway if he pops it right now. I don't think he realizes that, of course. Meanwhile, our Death Nails over here. Nothing, nothing much left over here. Just. Uh, Trying to reform, but you can see both teams are like kind of like the hell with this Death Nail stuff. It ain't working. We're gonna have to do something else. You can see a concerted effort now to head for the Charlie Cap. Now, Kita Saruhi was just detected at the Des Moines, so Old Boy knows the play now. They know what's going on. They know the Death Snail on the side has been abandoned over here. Can Milky step on the caps and, and make something happen here uh they will lose in three and a half minutes if nothing else changes three and a half only 
So they need to get on the caps. They need to do something to stop the point bleeding. We got Shimakaze. He's just going to kind of YOLO right into the C-cap. Zephyr 2 back again. Gearing coming to YOLO into C-cap as well. And Des Moines positioning himself as a trap door. Des Moines. It's kind of nice. They probably figured there's no radar over at C-cap because that Des Moines is way the hell away. So this is their opportunity to go in to get the cap and to make something happen. Now, that Des Moines has radar on two of these destroyers. As Daring opens up, he's trying to he's trying to fish. They figure that these guys are going to be at the farthest corner. And radar goes up from that Des Moines. And that detects, obviously, Z-52 and the gearing. As uh, the Daring once again smokes up and backs off. We got a little Des Moines on Des Moines action. Finally, something starting to develop over on the sea cap side. Meanwhile, what do you know? Kremlin being farmed. Shocker, I know. That Des Moines, though, I gotta say, it, it, he's just been kind of sitting here this whole game, happily firing off his radar on its cooldown. And he's he's been making it work for the team. Oh boy, he's been getting an awful lot of mileage out of those radars. Kidus Haruhi might be the first one to go down here. Um, oh, nope, Kremlin shot somebody else. I thought he would have for sure shot at the uh, Des Moines. You can see their Des Moines. Oh boy's Des Moines is really doing work. Getting Des Moines detected. And then here comes the other Des Moines radar just as the smoke screen was going up. So 404 smoke screen not found. And these guys are really in trouble. Really in trouble. Meanwhile, torpedoes on the daring just barely miss. Now they've got to be counting radars and realizing that this Des Moines radar uh, has got to be getting low. That being said, he still has one left, so, you know. All right, if I'm Kudos Taruhi, I'm just going to go and butt up to this island here to make it very difficult for people to shoot me. Um, and I'm going to find a way to start hitting people. He's not doing that, though. He's kind of staying next to the island. So that's a bit of a risk from very long-range shells. On the other side of the map, Kremlin, come we can't carry hard, is finally getting himself farmed down. Although he's 20 seconds to go until his rate, uh, until his heal's available. That's gonna... Ooh, mm, his DCP's down. That's it. He won't get to his last heal. Bye-bye. First blood goes to... Oh, boy. And that will most likely seal game one. Unless Milky can find a way back in. Kidusuru, he survived. That's huge. I think for him, and he, he's probably just going to need a YOLO charge, frankly, or do something. Um, as, as you can see now, Picharaba's <laughs> conquer is, like, going hard in right now. No point gain going for Team Oh Boy. And Kidusuru, he is going to be able to radar in one second. That should... There's the radar and cooldown. And that's going to allow the Daring to get detected. And he's going to be back. He's going to be pushed off the cap. There he goes. So now we've got ourselves a Conqueror. Zephyr 2 Stalingrad in the B cap. The Grozovoy is free to just go right in now. And there's the last and final radar for this Des Moines. Boy, did he get a lot of use of these radars. Rice Enjoyer unfortunately caught reversing in this radar. He's going to go down right here. There he goes. Absolute huge kill for Team Oh Boy. That being said, take a look at the score. Uh, we still don't have any point gain for Oh Boy, although Grozovoy is getting into the cap. Now this Conqueror has kind of painted himself into a corner, and I think he realizes that with uh, the Kremlin sitting there staring down his throat. question is how is he going to get his guns in Des Moines obviously sitting on the B cap to deny point gain uh, for Team Milky
Haruhi is desperately trying not to get farmed to death. One minute to go in our first round. I think I think Haruhi's gonna die, and that's gonna be the end of it. We got torpedoes coming in on the Kremlin, but we've got a, a hydro-equipped daring doing ends in five daring things. And Stevie's here. I hear the meowing. Come on in, Stevie. Uh oh. Uh oh, Haragumo. Haragumo is gonna go down right here. Let's see if I can get in here in time to get my death pick. Come on. Oh, I just made it in time. Boom. There it is. There's our first death pick of the day. All right. Congratulations to Oh Boy for coming away with the first win. All right, game two, ladies and gentlemen. Milky hoping to get a win and force a game three. Oh boy, hoping to get a win and knock Milky into the loser's bracket in this best of two series. All right, so what do we have for Milky? We've got legendary Harugamo, legendary Gearing, Daring, Wooster, Des Moines, non-legendary Wooster, non-legendary Des Moines, legendary Des Moines, Stalingrad, Action stations. Kremlin, and a Burgon. Very interesting pick. I mean, of course, it's got really good um, engine boost. Is he reversing the start? No? I don't know. Anyway, moving right along, let's see what's opposing them to the south. Oh boy, bringing with them a daring, a legendary Hargamo, a legendary Gearing, a legendary Shimakaze, Wusta with range, a legendary Zhao? Legendary Des Moines, Conqueror, and a Kremlin. Legendary Zhao, what the heck is this all about? Is, is this, I'm, I'm, chat, I'm legit curious what you think about this. Is this oh boy basically saying we're going to fight with, with one man's uh, <laughs> arm tied behind their back here with the Zhao? Is this their attempt to test a... A ship for competitive to see what can happen. I mean, there's always that meme about test ship Zhao. What is this? I are confused. In any case, let's go take a look at what's going on with our map. Here we go. And uh, both teams, well, I was gonna say that, yeah. Oh boy is going strong to A. They've got a kind of a linger, I'm gonna call it a linger flank setup, where they're, they're not just going straight uh, to C cap to kite away. They're gonna linger in the middle, uh, kind of between B and C. And then they'll kite away when they need to. And it does give them a little bit of flexibility. Um, meanwhile, to the north, Milky is doing what you would expect them to do with the daring, which is go into B. Wooster is being smoked up in front of this big island. Now that gets him access to most of the B cap, but if you'll notice, he doesn't get access to all of the B cap. So that's kind of a wasted smoke and wasted radar. Ouch. If that was a Des Moines, the daring would have been detected. He's... Wait, wait, wait. Haragumo detected now. At least the Wooster caught something out on radar. And, oh, we got we got Wooster on Wooster action here. As the other Wooster's radar caught out. Oh, boy, is gearing. And... Yeah. I, I just... I, I'm still... Unsure. I don't know which which team came off better in this uh, engagement. I guess Oh Boy, simply because the Haragumo uh, took a lot of hits. But that being said, Milky's Des Moines up to the north over here, also getting whacked for his insolence. He opened up, and that's unfortunate for him. All right, let's take a look at the sea cap. Uh, oh Boy already grabbed the sea cap. 
uh, as Brody is being brought into position to support Charlie. And the Zhao, Teship Zhao, is going to take a torpedo. Two torpedoes. Ooh, one on each end. That's going to force a DCP. Brody is trying to get into this here. I'm sure the Kremlin is... Why is Kremlin in range? I think so. Brody now putting his radar up. Is he going to detect the Shimakaze? He does. Brody doesn't care that uh, the Zhao knows where he is, as you can see. And look at Milky rotating their daring into the sea cap now. I like this play. Shimakaze Kiros Taco Bell. He ran for the border. All right, but that's going to allow the daring uh, to go into the sea cap. And he'll be just fine. Now, oh boy is responding with their own uh, push into B. They know that Des Moines is there, so, you know, I mean, almost all of B is covered by radar right now. Obviously, Haruhi will move farther forward and radar if needed. Over on the one line, you can see that uh, oh boy has claimed this island. Now, last week, this island wasn't very effective because neither team really hung around. This is different. The Stalingrad is hanging around. So now, the Hargamon and Des Moines have a farm target. That's gonna, that, that might actually do something. We'll have to see. As Schnitzer pulled his uh, radar up for a little bit, obviously, and detected both the, uh, both the old boy ships. Now look at this. I like this play here. The Daring going very far to the south. He does not want to go into the B-cap at all because he knows he'll tripwire radar if he, he'll, he'll, he'll force the radar if he does go in. Now he's going to go in. So what, what's the point? What's the point? The point is he's going to... Oh, he didn't. I thought he was going to go in for sure. He didn't. He wants to wait and see if that Des Moines, if he can catch out that Des Moines. Interesting play. What's going on on the other side? <clears throat> Yolo Des Moines getting his radar up again. God, last time we saw so much use out of that radar. He's pushing forward now. He's going to try to get some shots on the Hargamo. And what they're doing is they're trying to set up to, to get the Wooster to farm uh, over that island at, like, max range. I can't remember. Is this a, the range? No, this is the reload Wooster. If it was the range uh, Wooster, he'd be better suited for farming out that Des Moines. So, this Hargumo uh, taking a bit of a punishment there for trying to get a smoke screen going. And now the Stalingrad is detected on... Well, I think it's a service detect at this point, yeah. Uh-oh. Milky... Sm uh, <laughs> they, they, uh, they, they sniffed out something, and Haruhi went ahead and did his own radar... And you can see Reunited coming under some sustained fire for a bit there. He'll be fine. He's got, he's got, you know, he's got a heal. It'll, it'll buff out. Okay, well. Rice taking it. No, whew, that was close. Um, it feels to me like Milky has both B and C well in hand. The biggest question is what's going to happen over by A and in the middle here. As once again, the Kremlin is being farmed. We saw this last game, except uh, last game he was nowhere near as healthy at this point in the game. There's the Wooster. The Wooster looking arc shells over that part of the island, getting some hits. That's good, although I feel like he needs to be farther over, like, on the very border here. Now, the fact that uh, that's going on the one line, three assets over there to two, that's going to free up oh boy to move towards the middle. And you can see they're already doing that. They've got the Kremlin up here, ready to go. Uh, Des Moines barely dodges a torpedo. He had Hydra going, so 
You'd hope that he would be able to dodge a torpedo. He's got 27 seconds until his next radar. Gearing is going in right now. And what that means is he will be radared momentarily once the cooldown's up. But he, excuse me, uh, Haruhi also has to move farther forward in order to be able to see things. So, hmm. All the torpedoes coming in on Brody's Des Moines right now. But he's got Hydro up. He doesn't care. I just noticed how much farming's been, doing, been uh, done on Controller Kills Conquer being forced way the hell back. Okay, radar is up from Haruhi. The Daring is trying to get into the cap to stop the point gain. Too little, too late. Will the gearing go down? Bergani smacks with an AP salvo. I'm surprised he didn't pop his reload booster, but he's he probably figured he only had one shot. And just like that, Milky's gonna go back into the B cap. This almost feels like a reverse of the last game. Um, oh, finally, we got our first kill. Milky coming away with that kill on the Des Moines. I don't know why he was so far forward there. Interesting. Bit of a misplay there. And Shimakaze goes down on the other end of the map. Got radared out by Brody. So... Two quick kills for Milky. Uh, frankly, when they needed the most, right? Um, and that's going to allow for a significant lead to form for Team Milky. It's not over yet, though. But like I was saying, it, it feels like that this was a, a reverse of the last map. The last map, we saw Milky go for the one cap that's isolated... And, oh boy, grabbed the two caps that could support each other. And in this game, it's the opposite. Milky went for the two caps that could support each other, B and C. And, oh boy, went for the cap that was isolated, A. And you can see kind of the result here. Obviously, it's not all, you know, coming down to where on the map you went to start. But, we are noticing uh, that, that little bit of a trend there, at least. All right, Stalingrad is pushing up, and look at this Wooster balance department showing a bit of side to the Stalingrad, and yeah, that kind of hurt. Big fight going on at B, and you can see at C cap, uh, there's really no reason to push. As a matter of fact, I think Rice is going to smoke in a second here, but you know, all they have to do is hold. The real fight is going on at B, as Pishabra did the one thing you really don't want to do in a Bergani, and that's get stuck bow in. And you can see what's happening. He's just getting farmed hard. He doesn't have the capabilities to get out of that really easily, except for his, uh, his engine boost, which he's using now. But I feel like he needs to just hit W and turn out and, and go for it. Of course, he's probably afraid of torpedoes. But the problem with that is he kind of painted himself into a corner. As you can see, he's on a fire now. As Milky goes into the A cap, Wooster catches uh, the Hargamo for a little bit. Now remember, Balance Department's Wooster is a range mod. And you can see the effect of that. He's able to open water, and he can dodge shells that are coming in, even from Stalingrad. So that's a, that's a good play there. Harugamo opening up too. They know how important it is to get a kill right now with 30 seconds to go in the game. They're also charging into the B cap. Again, both destroyers know they got to do something. They're going into the Des Moines radar. They don't care. And it comes down to which of these little destroyers is going to die to end the match. Might be both, frankly. I think it's the daring. But, I mean, look at these. Look at these two guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are they... <laughs> look at this. They're going to farm out the Bergon. They're going to farm out the Bergon. No! Just barely. The Bergon just barely survives that. What a fight. 
What a fight. Milky saying, we are not ready to go to the loser's bracket, guys. Congratulations to Milky on that win. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, game three of this winner's bracket game. One team is going to the loser's bracket. One is advancing uh, to... God, that would be the semifinals, wouldn't it? Let me think. Oh, this is the semifinals. And then we have the finals next. So uh, this is winner's bracket 3.2. And here we go. Gearing and gearing, both legendary gearings. Slightly different uh, setup for commanders. We've got ourselves a daring... And then Milky brings the Colbert, Des Moines, Wooster, other Des Moines, non-legendary ranged Des Moines, legendary Des Moines, non-legendary Wooster, uh, reload Wooster. And a Colbert? Now, somebody was asking in chat, has, have we seen a Colbert yet? Well, there's your answer. We've got Kremlin and Kerfurst. What is this? Is that le That's not legendary Kerfurst, is it? I can't remember what this icon is. Chat, you guys can... What the... Okay. Propulsion spec, hydro, DCP, man sex, all that good stuff. All right. Moving right along. Hey, Putin's here. Putin, thank you so much. All right, uh, let's see here. So, oh boy is bringing with them legendary Des Moines, daring, legendary Haragumo, legendary Wooster. Remember, legendary Wooster, you are able to use more of your hydro and other consumables. Legendary Des Moines, a Salem, a Kerfurst of their own. Now, this is a secondary, also se mostly secondary. They don't have the range, but uh, okay, okay. But he said to ah, that's weird. And then finally to Kremlin. All right, so I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to go to the map screen here, allow you guys to watch this go down. And I'm going to pull up the freaking wiki and figure out what the hell was that, um, was that icon. I don't think that's the legendary module Kerfer that that's using, but let, let's take a look and see. Oh, and Stevie is going to his bed. Cool. Okay. Kerfurst, what do we got here? No, that's not the legendary module. Neither Kerfurst are running legendary mode. And that's weird. I would think that they would want to run the legendary module. Okay, what is this damn icon? Here it is. Squ what? Squadron consumables? Oh, ship consumables. Okay, 10% action time of ship consume. Oh, okay. So here's what they're trying to do. Here's the big brain. Let me go over to the curve first here and show you guys uh, what's going on, okay? Now, uh, stay. Okay, so this is 10% to the action time of consumables. Now this is in, in you know, replacement of the concealment mod, okay? So 10% longer consumable action time. Add on top of that DCP mod one, right? And DCP mod one, I believe is a 40% upgrade. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, 40% upgrade to the action time. So I believe it's eight seconds normally. You add 20% to that, then you add a further 10%. So longer immunity. Now, he's also got the hydro mod. Now, the hydro mod increases action time of hydroacoustic by 20%. And now you get an extra 10% on top of that. Also, the heal is going to go for longer too, another 10 seconds. So that's additional hit points that you can heal away. So this curve first is designed to go into some place and tank as much as possible, like maximum tankage. As for the uh, legendary upgrade, for those of you guys who don't know, in slot six, the curve first can bring in improved ammunition hoists, which decreases main battery and secondary loading time. It does reduce the range. So... A lot of brawler build curfers typically go for that in slot six instead of main battery reload. All right. So while we've been looking that up, there's a lot that's been going on. We've got ourselves a Desdale setting up over here. We've got a we've got Kerfers firing at maximum range to see if he can get lucky. Does not. 
We got Milky grabbing the A cap early on. Under radar, but who cares? Right, there it goes. Uh, over at this at the B cap, it looks like. It looks like Pisha is going to actually back into the B-cap here, which is kind of crazy to think about. When you back cap in, back into a cap as a battleship, feels odd, but hey, it works. Now, because of the Des Moines Hydro, who's also detected on Kerfer's Hydro, we've got um, Yamate Onisama is able to fire at maximum range. Smoke going up. Celestia him probably notified um, Yamate that smoke's going up. And as you can see, that's going to force the gearing back. And obviously, Balance Department's Wooster, he can't sit there and, and you know, help out. So there you go. All right. This is... Look at this. Oh. Now... Haruhi's going to be detected for days because that's Kerfer's Hydro, right? But is it... They, he does have the Hydro mod. Okay, so take a look. I'm going to back off here and look at this. Oh, but the other Kerfer's is coming too. They're trying to set up a kill on the Des Moines with both both battleships shoving. But look at Pisha. Pisha's sitting here saying, No, don't you think you're going to do... Oh, wait a minute. These mad lads. Oh... These mad lads, what are they doing? What are we doing? Hello? Hello? And just like that. Why? Just like that, the ship that we were all excited to see goes down in a ram. In six minutes. Now, Haruhi, I thought he was going to move farther forward, get on the side of the Kremlin, and just AP slap him, but that did not happen. So, the Kremlin and Kerr first on the opposite sides are going to talk to each other now. Big hit there from uh, Milky's Kremlin. And now you can see that oh boy is starting to push up the one two flank. Now controller kill does not have hydro anymore and that's gonna hurt because he's gonna take a torp in the face. There it is, he saw it coming, hits the DCP and the heal as quickly as possible. But I mean, Des Moines is on the run, but wait, here we go. Here comes teamwork. Smoke screen going up. Onisama needs to get into that smoke. If he can get in that smoke, he can open up on the curve first and get him on fire. There he goes. But he's got torpedoes chasing him. His hydro is down for another 30 seconds. Will controller kill get farmed out? The other milky Des Moines is now shooting from the other side. So now we've got a situation where this curve first is just going to get farmed out from two Des Moines. What's going on at A? Not much. Daring is going into the A-cap. Uh, Wooster is getting set to radar in 34 seconds. But the big story, I think, is going to be over here. And you can see now, her first is... Only on one fire. Uh, <laughs> he's actually gone dark. He's actually gone dark. He puts a plane up, and because that plane is up and the Des Moines is out, that plane is detecting him. Now, controller isn't going to fire his guns. If he fires his guns, he'll be detected from smoke. So he's literally just going to sit there. But he doesn't have secondary range built in. If I remember right. No, he doesn't, see? So, his secondaries aren't going to be able to do much. Now, his Hydro is available, but I wonder if he remembers that. I don't think he remembers Hydro as a thing. Wooster's got his Hydro going. Oh, is this going to be a convenient curfer size gap? It is. Convenient curfer size gap, guys. As uh, Onisama is going to get farmed out here. There he goes. 
And just like that, this game isn't over yet. I'm amazed Oh Boy was able to save their curve first. Ridiculousness. And Rice Enjoyer over at the A cap is, well, enjoying more than just Rice now. So he's out. Really got surprised by this this push up the up the side here, up the one line with that Wooster radar. Can Milky respond? Well, they're not going to get the Hargumo out. No, wait. Actually, they might because the Hargumo's on fire. Hargumo DCPs. Uh, I think it was just in time. No more shells in the air that are tracking. That's off to Milky for trying, but not enough. All right, if you're Milky, you got to find a way to get back into this game. You got a Kerfus now hunting around in the backfield. Oh, here's that Colbert. Doing what Colbert's do, which is get slapped. So, um, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I am confused. Well, they're gonna try to <laughs> they're gonna try to farm out the curve first again. Uh, that didn't work out too well last time, but I mean, Haruhi's gonna get shots for free at least, so there's that. But at this point, uh, down two shifts, Milky really has to find a way to get back into this game. They tried to get to the A cap again. Obviously, they can't sustain too long here. And you can see that right there. The Wooster is going to have to back off. Now, which of these Woosters was range mod? It was... Oh, neither. Okay. <laughs> Chad's catching up to the moment of disappointment. <laughs> Five minutes ago. <laughs> I agree with you guys. I was so excited, and then <laughs> nothing came out of that. <laughs> All the theory crafting in the world goes down when you decide to ram a ship, you know? I guess the hope was that maybe one of the guys didn't have ram flags. And now, look at this. The Kerfirst doesn't have to actually fire his guns. He can just sit here. Secondary the hell out of the, um, the Kremlin in smoke. So, um, that's fun. Meanwhile, Kremlin is getting farmed off again. I feel like Milky has done in this series, of, uh, oh, not Milky, Oh Boy has done a better job in this series of protecting their battleship, keeping their battleship going. Wooster dies on the other flank. And that will seal it for that flank, really. There's just the daring over there trying to make something happen and failing. But we're going to see... There goes the Kremlin. Kind of wish the Kremlin would have just hit W and smacked the Salem in the face, but oh well. So what do we have left? We've got some hot Des Moines on Salem action with uh, Kerr first saying hello with his main guns. I'm just kind of going to park here because I think the battle is pretty much all but over. Try to set up for our death pick. YOLO. So, so nice job by the Salem here. Angling. He's got a flat rear citadel box. So by angling like this, Haruhi's not going to be able to citadel him. And that's huge. It's absolutely huge. All right. We got 18 seconds until we get to the end unless somebody else dies. So let's get a death pick here with a disappearing curve first. That's sad. All right, well, we'll go over here then instead. I want to see more of the ship. Yeah. Just in time. Oof. Well, ultimate winner of this set goes to Team Oh Boy. Congratulations to them. What a series. Three fantastic games. Loved every minute of it. Loved every minute of it.
So, guys, uh, it's going to be a bit before, I think, before we get to our next game. Now is a really good opportunity to go and uh, take a break. We've got 22 minutes until the next battle starts. Uh, I will most likely bring you a replay analysis 